hello today I'm going to be showing you I don't know yet actually this is kind of a uh, choose your own adventure type of deal as far as I'm concerned because I know I want to record something because I don't get a lot of time to record stuff so when I do when I have time I like to take advantage of it like right now but then sometimes my creative juices are just not flowing properly and I come up with let's get rid of this motherfucker or star Dior Skin Star Foundation so this is this is it I'm gonna try it on camera um I've tried it before you can see I've got well you could see I have like about this uh, much of it used up it says to shake it so shake it up shake it up go on I'm and the primer that I've been trying to use up which you can see I'm made quite a sizable dent in it and I'm really proud of that this is a Dior Glow Maximizer I thought it was just a highlighting cream but it turns out it's actually a primer and it's been helping keeping and keeping my makeup set throughout the day which I really like I know I have this huge horrible habit of looking that way but I can't help it and y'all there's worse things I could be doing honestly like I'm trying to feel bad about it and I <laughs> don't. Uh, next I'm going to spread some Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist on my skin. A little, she said as she doused her skin in it. The concealer I've been trying to use up is then the Maybelline Master Conceal uh, Concealer by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. I have the shade Light. My favorites are to this day, uh, MAC Pro Longwear. There's just very little that's better than MAC Pro Longwear. And I think, well, I have like three favorites. And I think those favorites are MAC Pro Longwear. Holy shit, there's a huge spider on the light fixture in my bathroom. Okay, maybe if I don't. As long as it's not one of those crazy, like, jumping spiders, it should be fine, right? Anyway, I was saying, MAC Pro Longwear, uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin, and uh, MAC Prep and Prime Highlight. Okay, so my favorite way to blend things out is still my beauty blender. Um, this one's a little dirty, but I used it this morning, so who cares? I'm just gonna do this little number, because both the concealer and the foundation are a bit on the thicker side. And so for things like that, I do like the Beauty Blender because it's going to spread them out a little more evenly. Dot that, oh, it is a lot. And dot that all over my face. I've got a candle burning right now, y'all. It's from Bath & Body Works. It's one of those mini candles because I'm not the type of person who would spend $30 on a candle. I just, I can't, maybe one day. But not today. Today was not that day. And let me set out a bed. For okay. Anyway, the candle is called Mahogany and Teakwood. And it smells like what you would imagine. That's a good example for this. It smells like you would imagine. For me, it's Chris Pratt. <laughs> it smells like I would, well, what I would imagine Chris Pratt. Pratt smells like, or like Antonio Banderas, what he smells like. That candle smells like what Prince Zuko probably smells like. Colourpop Taco eyeshadow, which I have no idea why it's called Taco. As a certified Mexican, I can guarantee you our tacos are not blue. I'm taking that on a Morphe, like angled eye brush. Oh, I got some foundation on my eyeballs. So I'm just going to pop this right on the lid, on the outer corner of the lid, and I'm going to bring it up. It's going to be my transition shade, so I want it to be kind of light, kind of faded out. You can see this is a cream eyeshadow, but it's blending really nicely. This is actually a good formula for mattes, which, like, you wouldn't think it would be, but it is. So, so I've got some of that. Yeah. Just need a good synthetic brush to blend everything. 
And this Morphe brush is part of the vegan brush set, which is 40 something dollars, but Mama got it on Outlook for, I think I got it for like 30 something dollars. Which, are you kidding me? Like 18 brushes for $35? Where else are you going to find that? Nowhere. Nowhere. That's why. That's why. That's where. Okay. So, at this point, not really sure where this is going. So, any thoughts or prayers, like retroactive prayers, would be very much appreciated right now. Um, if you're sending me good vibes right now, rooting for past me to make it out of this alive, I really appreciate you. <laughs> From the Mi Vida Loca palette, it's called Synth. It's that bright matte uh, sky blue. It's gonna pop it right on top of that taco. Kind of to give it a little more intensity as it gets closer to my eyeball. I'm also gonna use it to define this weird ass wing that I've started to incite. Like, as if my eyes are like on revolt or something. The only thing about these Kat Von D eyeshadows I will say is that they're very, very powdery. So right now I'm dipping my brush in, which is a Sonia Kashuk uh, brush. I think this was with the Art Deco, Deco, Art Deco, something like that collection. It was very obviously the Great Gatsby inspired, but it's neither here nor there. So I'm just putting that on my eyelid. But anyway, I just dipped my brush in it and it kicked up so much powder that now I'm not even like dipping it in, I'm just picking up the powder that it kicked up. Blue, deep navy blue with hints of teal to it. There we go. It's a navy blue that had a little affair with a bit of a teal down at some, one of the ports. Get it? Because it's a navy blue. It's looking not terrible. It's looking not terrible, the standard for content on my channel. Then I'm taking the Visart. I'm showing you this one because the other one is really hard to carry and I'm not going to try it. I'm going to use this Visart Dark Mats palette. I'm thinking I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to use this darkest shade here. It's, these aren't like straight up mattes. I would say they've got a little bit of a satin finish to them. Not so much in shimmer, but it's in that it's not a flat matte. If that makes any sense. So I'm going to concentrate this on the very outer corner. You can see right there to give my eye that depth. Isn't that a hard word to say? That depth. That depth. Okay, so I'm taking a more pointed brush and that deepest blue shade. I'm going to pop it right on the outer corner. And I'm using it to kind of carve out that blue wing that we've got going. And I've got Kat Von D Black Metal eyeshadow on here. And I'm going to use it to really sculpt the shape of my eye. Now don't get scared. I know it looks terrible right now. Don't get scared. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Uh, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Then I'm going to take this tiny ass brush. And it's called Skulls. So it's from the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette. It's just a bright, shimmery white. Right on that inner corner. And then right on the lid is where the magic is going to happen. I'm going to take the Stila Metallic, what's it called? Metallic Dusty Rose. Okay, Magnificent Metal Eyes. Foil finish eyeshadow in metallic dusty rose. I'm going to pop that right on the center and the inner lid. I'll dip my finger in the liquid so that it's wet. And then I go right into the eyeshadow. So I'll go at it like it's a cream eyeshadow. And if I need more liquid, I'll just grab more liquid. Until it's kind of... Until it's very creamy and almost liquidy. And then you end up with a bunch of shit on your, on your finger. And then I literally just dab it onto my eyelid. I tried using a brush. The brush is going to fuck you up. 
It's not gonna help you. The brush is not your friend. You can see that shit is shiny. Everything that you're seeing right now and are very concerned with, we're gonna fix it. So I'm putting this on here. And I've learned my lesson. I don't want it to go as high as this other eye. So I'm gonna keep it very low. I'm gonna go back in with that deepest blue from the Visart palette on a small kind of flat but mostly fluffy brush and I'm going to clean up right around these edges with that chunky glitter kind of overstepped its boundaries it's mostly about bringing back some of that darkness so that you're not left with just like the stark glitter I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my liner and I'll be right back 